Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing the very requested video of a makeup tutorial, specifically a bottom competition makeup, and I will be creating this look that will be step by step how I do everything. So if you guys want to pause the video, get out your makeup and do your makeup alongside me, make sure to do that. I will be linking down below all of the products that I used, especially if they're bought online, just so you guys know exactly what products I am using. And yeah, that's basically it. Let's get right into this amazing look okay so when I start my makeup I always start with the eyeshadow because if you end up getting fallout under your eyes it makes it easier to conceal the fallout and like clean it off before you have any face makeup on this is the palette that I use for all of my makeup looks so far for competitions and this is just solely warm and orange and red tones that look like this and then there are also two shimmer shades right here they're kind of like press on glitter eyeshadows I also have a different palette that has a super different variety of colors and I'm gonna start off by using a brush that looks like this I'm not really sure what any of these brushes names are because I'm not a makeup guru like I just do makeup because I like to do it and I'm going to be dipping my eyeshadow brush into this red color right here and I usually start off very, very lightly, and I will be using a gift card from Starbucks, and you can use it literally whatever kind of card you have. You could also use tape, anything that you'd like to help you kind of get a line or where you want your eyeshadow to go on your eyelid. And I'm going to put it right here, and I apologize, I have a mirror and a camera right in front of me, so I'm not looking into the camera right now. And I'm going to be putting it right here, right on my corner of my eyelid. And then I'm going to be spreading it around just like this in circular motions. And then if I have any remaining on, I just kind of put it on my actual eyelid. And then I usually grab a couple more swatches of the eyeshadow and I try and concentrate it right in the corner of my eyelid and then spread it out from there. Blending is honestly everything, like you have to blend your eyeshadow out really nicely and it's also super satisfying when you do blend it out. And then I'm going to put some eyeshadow, just a little bit, right um, under my eye right here. And this actually gives you a really nice pop of color. And what might look like I'm just giving myself a really big a red eye bag under my eye right now, but this is why we have concealer to use afterwards to kind of create a more fine line under your eye. And I will always leave the inner corner of my eye for a lighter color because it helps bring out your eyes more. So if you don't want to do the under eye, which if you are doing this as a more natural look and not for competition, you can do. But if you are doing it for a competition, I suggest you always put the same color that you use as your base under your eye, especially if it's a bright color. But if you don't want to do that, then you can leave a little nice clean cut out line just like this and I made it with the card by basically holding it underneath and I'm putting the eyeshadow on my lid like that. Now that I have both my eyes done, I'm actually going to put my hair up because I realized it's in the way of me doing my makeup and usually I would have my competition hair already done before I do my makeup. But if I don't have my hair done, then obviously I put it up in a ponytail. And the next thing I'm going to do is use the same exact brush and get a darker tone or shade of this red, which is right here on the bottom. And this darker color I'm going to be putting right in the corner of my eye, once again, right here. And for this one, I'm not going to be spreading it all over my lid. I'm just putting it right in the corner and kind of blending it right along my lash line into the center. Once you end up getting more colors and putting more eyeshadow on, it does end up making a difference where you have more of the eyeshadow concentration. So as you can see now, there is a more clear kind of line as to where the darker part of the eyeshadow is, so it's right in that corner of your eye. And now I'm actually going to be moving on to a dark color. I'm actually going to be using a black eyeshadow and this is going to be from the Naked palette by Urban Decay and this is my absolute favorite palette. It's very versatile for like smoky eyes and just competition looks and even daily natural makeup. And I'm going to be using this 
black eyeshadow right here. And for the black color, it's actually very important that you really create that cutoff with your card or tape or whatnot. So I'm really going to be making sure that I press it on really tightly right here as I blend in my black color. And once again, I'm going to pat it onto the corner of my eye like this and blend it in towards the inner corner like that and then out. So as you can see, the first time that you put it on, it never really shows up as dark as you usually want it to. And you also want to make sure that you blend it out really nicely. As you can see right here, it's not a really crisp kind of line. There's kind of a little mess up right here. And to fix that, I'm going to use a completely clean brush. And I'm going to use it to blend out that little spot kind of right here. Just like that, and then it creates a nice blended look. As you can see, I have really nice clean cut lines right here that I made with the card. And what I'm going to do is extend these darker corners kind of along my lower lash line. And to kind of preserve that same line that I have created, I am going to be using a thinner brush like this. Always use this brush when I put eyeshadow on my lower lash line or I'm trying to create kind of like an eyeliner look with eyeshadow. Once again, I'm going to use that black eyeshadow color and I'm really going to keep my card along this line that I've already created. Extend this entire black line. So as you can see, there's a really nice black line created right under your eye that blends in really nicely with the line that you have created in the corner. Now that I have that, I'm actually going to go back in with this same brush with the black color right into the corners of my eye and make sure they're really black. And once again, use that same brush with no eyeshadow and blend out that corner. Now that I have these corners nicely blended and darkened up, I'm going to go back in with the bright red that I used in the very beginning. And I just want to enhance that redness on this part of my eyelid, kind of the front part, blending it into the outer corner. Now the next step would be to use a concealer. I'm going to be using the Shape Tape Tarte Concealer and this is in the color Light Sand. Just going to grab some concealer right from here. Just one stroke is enough because it's super, super rich. And I'm going to be putting it right in, right in the inner corner, kind of creating a cut crease. Not really, because I'm just going to put some dots right here with the concealer. And then I usually like to look up like this and blink. See, the concealer naturally goes up and creates the natural line of your lid because I don't know it, you know, by hand. Putting it right into the inner corner. You can see it's kind of like half my eyelid right now. And I am going to do the cutoff about there at half my eyelid. But the reason I put the concealer on is to make whatever other color I put on my eyelid to make it brighter. And I usually just use the same brush because the concealer is all off of it. And I'm going to spray some setting spray onto the brush. And I'm going to put it into this lighter red color or orangey red color and it is a shimmer shade so it's not a matte shade. I'm just going to proceed to putting it right on the eyelid. Actually a very important thing is that you tap and dab your brush onto your eyelid instead of rubbing it in. That will allow you to get the most pigmented version. Then right at the corner where the concealer cutoff is, I kind of go run a downwards motion like this. As you can see, it has now become like a red and a coral golden type of look, which actually works really well for my dress because it is a coral red. And after I have done that, I am going to be using the uh, shimmer or glitter shades that I showed you in the beginning. And I tend to go in between these. This one right here is more orange and this one is more red. So it depends on kind of what mood I am in that day because they both work great. And today I'm actually going to be using the more red one. The way that I apply them is I once again grab some setting spray. I'm going to spray it, fingers like this. I will just dab my finger gets a nice portion of the glitter shade onto my finger. Pat it on right into the center of my lid and spread it around. And then I'm also going to use the makeup remover wipe to kind of wipe underneath my eye in case I have gotten glitter or eyeshadow underneath. 
Now because I generally have a very clear face, I don't have a lot of pimples, just go in with the same Shape Tape Concealer and I'm going to start off by making little dots and then I put on my concealer anywhere else that needs coverage like my pimples and I also will put some concealer right here on my forehead. I don't usually do my chin, but you can do your chin right here if you really need to. And I'm also going to be putting the foundation on my face as well. Also, if you didn't notice, I do not prime my face when I put on foundation or concealer. That's also just a me thing because for some reason when I put primer on my face, the foundation just does not want to go on. And it might be because the base of my primer and foundations are different. I'm just going to be using this foundation and it is in the color Soft Beige. And I'm going to be putting it everywhere that's not the spots where I already have the concealer and as if you notice I don't put any on my nose um, there's usually enough when I blend it out that some of it goes on my nose and my nose is generally also smooth and looks really weird when I put too much foundation onto it then I'm going to be using a beauty blender that I wet beauty blenders I bought in a pack off of Amazon super cheap they're very high quality. Once again, I'm gonna be linking all of my products and makeup palettes that I use down in the description below if you're interested. doing my eyebrows and because I have my hair dyed blonde usually for comps I don't have my roots um, because my hair would be freshly dyed I actually stay away from making my eyebrows too dramatic so what I do is I just brush them out because they already kind of have a pretty good shape once again I'm pretty fortunate with that and I also get them waxed and threaded and shaped kind of because of that so my eyebrows don't take a lot of work and then I'm going to be using a brush like this it's kind of a little slant to the color whiskey this dark brown color from the naked palette and i just dab the brush in it like once and then i use that to darken up my eyebrows just to fill in any gaps that i might have now we're going to move on to the very last parts of this makeup look which is like contouring and highlight and all of that and i'm going to be starting off with using this brush that i need to clean off i use uh, my beautiful friend makeup wipe to clean off my brushes anyways i'm going to be using this anastasia beverly hills aurora highlight palette it's so gorgeous look at this i'm using this brush and i'm going to be using the very lightest color which is luna it's this one on the top and this i'll be using to highlight my brow bone and all these little details like this, like highlighting your brow bone, are honestly so important for bringing your makeup look to kind of a finalized and completed look. Because once you're out on the dance floor and there's lights everywhere around you, it will be noticeable if you have um, kind of highlight like this on your face. Now is time for contouring and you can use a contour stick. I don't usually use it. I will use it today just to show you guys how that works. They sell a lot of different contour sticks. This one was very cheap. It is it is by Mega Glow. It looks just like this. Put it on my cheekbones. While I'm doing this ugly fish face, and I'm going to put some on my jawline. Last but not least, usually when you have comp makeup, it is up, so your entire hairline will be revealed unless you have like a side bang or something, but still. Anyways, but whatever part of your forehead that is revealed, you want to contour it like this. And I'm going to use the same beauty blender to blend out. And I'm going to use this brush to keep on blending it in like towards the middle part of my cheek as well and the thing with the contour is you don't even have to put it right where your cheekbones are you can make it be higher if you want to lift your face or whatnot and make sure that you blend it also like on your cheek here as well because it looks really unfinished if you do it like in a straight line and it looks very unrealistic always in motion so i risk it all just to be once you're like it looks crazy like this but once I'm out on the dance floor it's like gonna be barely noticeable so just so you know this is normal for my nose I use this like slanted brush 
and I um, use the same bronzer that I use for my cheeks, but then I use that to contour my nose using this brush instead of the contour stick because I just find a brush a lot easier to apply. That's just what I prefer. Make sure you also put the bronzer on the sides of your nose so it doesn't look weird. But it's all in then I kind of like and try to blend it out in the middle. And last but not least, here comes a little bit of concealer. With you. Okay, now time for blush. And I'm just going to be using this blush from the same palette that I used the bronzer from. And I'm going to be using this one right here in the corner. Highlighter on your actual face. And I'm going to be using this one right here. Also like super, super glowy. Now that I have that done, I also need to put some shiny highlighter right in the inner corner of my eye. Now, whether you want to use eyeliner or not is your choice. Usually I would do eyeliner, but it's such a pain to like take off my eyes that I'm just not gonna use that today. I'm gonna spray some setting spray on my face because that is actually very important for competition makeup as you will be competing. So you want your makeup to stay on for as long as possible. You don't want your eyeshadow to crease and the setting spray helps prevent those eyeshadow creasing. Now before I put on my fake eyelashes, I'm going to be using a mascara and this is my favorite mascara. It is the Perversion Mascara by Urban Decay. And yes, I put on mascara before I put on eyelashes. Now for a competition, you definitely want to put on fake lashes because as you can tell, mascara barely does anything and it's like you can barely see your eyelashes because of how bright your eye makeup is. And I am going to be using fake lashes from this uh, pack of false lashes, which I also got off of Amazon. It was 50 pairs for like 8 or 10 bucks or something, so it's really affordable. And there are 50 different kinds, very, very different in styles, so like these ones. These ones, there are five packs of these, so they're all super different. Although I will say the more dramatic the lashes, the better, because once again, you're competing. Now, this is the lash glue that I will be using. It is the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive, and honestly, I think it's one of the best eyelash glues out there. Now, putting in eyelashes is such a stressful process. I honestly hate it. For it, I'm going to be using these eyelash applicators. If you have applicators, you're going to try and grab a hold of them like this, so then you can put the lash glue right on the lash line. 15 to 30 seconds, so it goes into your eye. I'm not really sure why you're supposed to do that. I just know that that's what you're supposed to do. I don't even know how I'm supposed to show it to you guys. We're gonna try and do something like that. Hey, we have one eye done and one more to go. Do you see that difference? You can actually see like I have eyelashes. And I am going to be putting mascara over them again. Now last, I will be putting on lipstick. Super important because even though I'm done, it is somewhat incomplete without lipstick. I have found Sephora lipsticks to be so good and this is my favorite one. It is a Sephora lipstick. It came in a set of like six of different colors and this is a metallic red and it is a cream lip stain and it's so good and it lasts like through eating and all of that. Like literally, it's amazing. And you don't even have to line your lips for this one just because of how good it is. Now I am done with this look. As you can tell, lipstick and the red eyeshadow works really well together. The reason I prefer red eyeshadows is because pinks and reds, they look super light 
and flirty on the dance floor. And also if you're really looking for another extra bold statement, I would say put on eyeliner along your eyelid as well as going into the inner corners of your eyelid. I do hope that you guys found this helpful and enjoyed the look. And if you do try this out, please make sure to tag me on Instagram just so I can see how amazing your makeup looks turned out. And if you ever try this for a competition, also make sure to let me know or send me a photo on Instagram or DM me of how it turned out. I love seeing you guys trying out things that I've done. Please make sure to like this video, check out my other dance and non-dance related content. Comment down below whether you like this look or not and what other videos you'd like to see from me, whether it be another makeup tutorial. And as always, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!